cool kids. Fuck the kids? Yeah. Now, when I say who's the master, you say no no. What is up, people? Showing up the king here, back with a quick video, and today. I wanted to bring you a review for the McFarlane Toys Raw 10. And here we have Hoof. Again, if you guys don't know already, I have recently started getting really heavy into 118. And I've been working on like a battle diorama. And when I was going through the local Walmart today, I happened to come across this bad boy and I had to have him. He is the perfect scale for the enemy side of my diorama. So I'll, I want to just go ahead and do a quick review. Again, if you guys already know, McFarlane Toys, they have these great articulate, well, not, I shouldn't say articulated, but uh, highly detailed, um, actually pretty cheap. This thing, as big as it is, is actually only $20. So uh, it's it's a very easy price point. You can see here it has tons of great articulate, uh, articulation, Jesus. It has a lot of uh, details. Uh, the articulation is limited, but uh, it we'll get to that in a second. So here on the side and here on the back, you can pause to read the description. Uh, we already are, if you guys already know, I have the Battle Snake, and then they also have the Cygore, and they actually have this Pterodon, which I did not see in store, but I can guarantee to you that once I do find that, I will 100% get it. Uh, they also had a uh, a variation of this particular one. Uh, I, I ended up getting the uh, gray skin with the red cyber mechanic enhancements, but they actually had a separate version where the entire body was red, and then this cyber mechanic area was actually uh the gray the gray scale but again i just felt like you know if we're looking at an actual rhino rhinos are kind of gray so to me it would make only sense that this would be a hybrid and it would match that color so we're going to go ahead and get this thing open and take a quick look and here we have uh the hoof out of the packaging and my god this thing is amazing again for as big as it is it is lightweight but it is highly detailed and I love it. I think it's going to be perfect for my 118. And honestly, you could actually put in a, you know, 112 square figure and it still would look opposing. Like for instance, right here, I have a, you know, six inch Punisher next to this thing and hoof towers over him. So even if you wanted to kind of add this into your six inch figure scale, it would look amazing. He'd still look opposing. All right, so let's go ahead and get a closer look at this figure. So first thing I want to talk about is the articulation. It looks like it only has like four or five points of articulation. So the arms can do a full 360. Uh, sometimes it gets hindered by that leg, but the leg itself can also rotate a full 360. So if you need to kind of get it to go around, you can do that. Both legs move, both arms move, and I believe we do get some head motion. Yep, and then the head to the full 360. See here, the plastic on the mechanics of it is rubber, and so it, it actually does have a lot more properties to go with than the standard Raw 10, and that's kind of why I like this thing. So one other thing that it does come with is this really cool artwork. And you can see here on the front, we have the hoof with some other mechanized thing. And then here on the back, we have that same like Pteranodon or Pterodon or wherever that is on the back. And again, that McFarlane style artwork, this thing looks absolutely amazing. I'm definitely keeping that. So let's get some quick close-ups. So as you can see here, you can see the, the detail, and this is what McFarlane is kind of known for. Great shading, even in the teeth, the tongue, the eyes. You can even see in his horn how it's like rough and gruff. And then when you go here to the painted part, painted portion of it, you can see that detail in the shading and the darks and the blacks. And you can just see how it's like really like heavy metal style. 
And again, this thing doesn't weigh a lot. It doesn't, again, because it's, it's, it's like hollow plastic. But what you get from these McFarlane toys is the details. And I can completely, like I said before, I can completely see myself having him posed up in my 118 scale diorama looking very oppressive on the battlefield. So uh, one thing I want to do is show some comparisons and then uh, we'll get out of here. All right, here we have a side-by-side -side shot of the hoof along with the Raw 10 Battle Snake versus a uh, Jurassic World Indoraptor. Um, then also what I want to show is I have my four inch Joy Toy Assault Team, Space Assault Team. So we can kind of set them there so you guys can kind of see how my uh, four inch figures would go against a hoof. And then I also have my Joy Toy uh, 18 I'm sorry, uh, 118 scale uh, mech. And again, with this mech, there's also a pilot in it. So you just kind of lift that up to reveal the pilot. And a four inch figures. So yeah, lots of fun to be had. So overall for $20, this thing is a no brainer. Uh, definitely if you get them, uh, go ahead, pick them up. I found this at Walmart. It's uh, $19.99. Uh, this is Sean of the King, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.